Hello, my name is Cindy Chen and I'm a community relations planner here at King County Metro and the communications and outreach lead for the East Lake Layover Project. Before we jump into information about the project, I'd like to take a moment to explain exactly what a bus layover facility is. After finishing a trip, a Metro bus will often wait a few minutes before starting their next trip. You've probably seen buses on the street parked or idling along the curb as shown in this picture. Metro and the City of Seattle work together to find layover spaces for buses throughout the city. These planned layovers are important because they help late buses start their next trips on time. They also allow bus drivers to take necessary breaks, helping them stay alert behind the wheel. A bus layover facility also provides designated off-street spaces for buses to lay over. These facilities are really important because they help keep buses on time. They free up street space by moving out of service buses, such as the ones in this picture, into off-street sites. And they provide safe and reliable restrooms and break areas for our bus operators. The East Lake Layover Facility will be a surface level facility on the east side of East Lake Avenue East, next to I-5 between Roy and Harrison Streets, where today buses lay over on the side of the city street. This site has several advantages. It's a central location for a number of bus routes, and buses currently lay over on East Lake Avenue East, which competes with other street uses. A new layover facility at this location will be able to provide added on off-street space for buses to use while getting ready for their next trip. When built, the layover facility will accommodate about 11 buses, six of them off-street and five on-street, as well as a small office that will provide bus operators with a secure restroom break space, and operation space. This office we refer to as a comfort station and the design rendering is pictured here. The site will not be open to the public or for transit riders, but it will become a visible new feature of the streetscape along East Lake Avenue East. And because the facility will be so visible to the public, the design that you see today was heavily informed by community input during our initial phase of public outreach from November 2017 to January 2018. Throughout our outreach, people told us that they preferred bright colorful structures that stood out. They also preferred vegetation and natural plant-based screening over textured or painted physical barriers. In general, people also told us that was, it was important for Metro to design facilities that are safe and secure, as well as pedestrian and bike friendly. Specifically, people cited landscaping, lighting, and screening as some of the most important features. Uh, the top image you see here shows the final design of the comfort station, and then the bottom image, which is looking south on East Lake Avenue, shows the bus layover spaces just east of a shared use, pedestrian and bicycle friendly path, and the protected bike lanes that will be installed in partnership with the Seattle Department of Transportation. To accommodate the new bike lanes and bus layover spaces, and to improve the pedestrian experience, several roadway changes will impact the way that people drive, walk and bike along this stretch of East Lake Avenue East from Roy to Stewart Streets. Some of these are, include um, new and protected bike lanes and bike crossings. Those are shown here in green. New or improved pedestrian crossings, which are shown in purple. A new shared bike and pedestrian path, which is shown in blue on-street parking removal and reductions, which is shown in red, permanent lane reductions, which are shown in a light sky blue color, and then the yellow block right here is where the new facility will be built. 
In 2019, at the end of 2019, we conducted some door-to-door -door outreach to inform the uh, neighbors in the project area of these changes, and we will continue to work closely with them throughout construction. You can also visit the project website for a complete block by block breakdown of these changes. As we previously mentioned, uh, Metro has also been partnering with the Seattle Department of Transportation to design and install the southern portion of the East Lake Avenue protected bike lanes. These will be on the east and west side of the roadway between Roy and Stewart Streets. Eventually, the protected bike lanes will span from Fairview to Stewart Streets. Protected bike lanes are important because, and there's a few reasons, they improve safety for people who are biking, walking, and driving by keeping bicyclists off the sidewalks and the traffic lanes. They also help to calm and maintain the flow of traffic and they increase bicycle ridership and promote healthy lifestyles. The Seattle Department of Transportation will relocate about five load zones to accommodate this project and the protected bike lanes. Residents and businesses that use these load zones have been notified of their new locations. For more information about the East Lake protected bike lanes or these load zone relocations, please visit the project website, which is listed here, or you can contact eastlakepbl at seattle.gov. And here's the project schedule. So we completed design of the project in July of this year, 2020, and we expect to begin construction as soon as this fall. The project is anticipated to be completed in late 2021 or early 2022. What to expect during construction. The work hours and specific construction impacts will be determined as we get closer to the construction start date. We'll work closely with stakeholders in the media areas to ensure that they're informed in advance of the start of construction via email updates, web page updates, and mailings. I will provide my email address here in just a second. If you'd like to sign up for our email list, to get updates during construction, please send me an email and I will add you to that list. During construction, you can expect some noise, dust, vibration, and truck traffic. Uh, there may also be some lane shifts, detours to the traffic and sidewalks. Thank you for listening today. Um, to learn more about the project, please visit the website, which is listed here, um, or feel free to contact me directly. Um, and my email is written up there. It's communityrelations at kingcounty.gov. Thank you so much.